here's how we produce DC electricity with the treadmill motor. This is a motor out of a treadmill. This is a body by Jake. That's my daughter. Here's a charge controller slash inverter from Harbor Freight solar panel setup kit with the lights. The belt that we have here is from a washing machine. Works perfect because of the grooves. There's also other workout equipment that you can get the motor out of, which I have. But there's some of the motors are smaller and it's harder to produce the desired voltage required to uh, get to the 14 volts. So this is so far the best one and you do have to turn the motor in reverse to produce the DC electricity. If you're charging a battery, what I've seen online is that you should use a blocking diode. I've hooked it up to the battery did the same thing as soon as you stop pedaling the motor starts turning the opposite way using the power from the battery we're not charging batteries with this application we really just have it for fun for a learning experience the connections we have here are just a simple positive to positive negative to negative no ground on the back of the harbor freight charge controller there's a spot for the solar panels, which that's where you would hook up your solar panels. And there's a battery, and that's how you charge your battery with the solar panels. I purchased, after learning a little bit about solar panels from the Harbor Freight setup, I purchased uh, a better quality solar panels, charge controller, uh, inverter, etc., which I will be posting a video about. I'll tell you what I've learned, uh, how far I came, and I'm not really there yet, but it, it's a great learning tool for people trying to learn try to uh, produce the electricity like myself and a battery backup uh, you know battery bank etc I'm gonna have my daughter start pedaling we're gonna show you when she starts pedaling there's the voltage on the charge controller and there's the lights that turn on from it that are plugged into the, to the DC output when she pedals too much the lights will flicker, flicker. But once she holds it steady at the perfect voltage, the lights stay on nice. And as she stops pedaling, the voltage goes down and goes off. We really haven't did much experience experimenting with this setup. It's just a little bit of fun, a little bit of learning. And then I'll, I'll list on my other video where to get really good solar panels and a really good setup and everything I've learned.